So just to recap, last time out we managed to do um, we managed to do the the back piece, and we've got the two um, motos and the wheels. We managed to do um, the battery holder, uh, microcontroller this side. So what we're going to do now is a front piece. So I've cheated a bit. I've already started doing it. Um, what these are are the F608ZZ bearings. Very handy bearings to just keep keep stock around. Uh, so you're going to need about two of these. They'll just fit in perfectly. If they don't, just use um, you know such a tool as your Dremel or any other tool just to widen up the holes a bit. What you then do is I'm going to move this away. Uh, is print out the bottom piece. Bottom piece looks exactly like the top piece that we just looked at. And you basically follow the same drill, same bearings, the 608ZZs. Uh, and again, if they don't fit in perfectly, just um, uh, just drum out this, this piece around um, um, until it fits. So, where it gets a little bit more exciting is you're then going to print out this piece over here. And that's your server holder. And then you carry on to print these little standoffs. Those should be about 11 or thereabout. Um, um, what then happens is these will go in firmly like so. And by the way, these are about, so let's just measure these. These are by 25 um, uh, your bolts. And if you look at these holes, they should just firmly um, come through this way and all the way through and just pop through like this. Not too much, hopefully, um, but enough for you to actually um, cap this off using your nuts. So we get, we're actually going to do that. Um, and then carry on with the next piece. With this firmly in place, uh, as you can see, it's nice and tight. And just um, be be sure that the actual control arm of your uh, motor is actually in line with these two. After all, it's going to be controlling the steering. Now we move on to the next piece. Next piece is. You've got to print out these two, um, two of these. Uh, and you also need to print out two of these. Okay, so these are your steering arms and these are your 12 um, 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 millimeter sort of uh, wheel connectors. Uh, you just push these in, they'll fit very nice and tight onto here. Once you've done that, as you might have imagined, these plug in nicely over here and they should be uh, flowing pretty freely. Otherwise, you're going to have issues with the server driving these left and right. Off to the next piece. So the last piece of the puzzle is um, these, this steering piece over here. Um, I've already just um, connected it to the servo arm. Uh, I just be sure that this thing moves freely. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, so these will just plug in firmly over here. And you will then have to plug in the servo like so. And we're almost at the end of this. Use your self tapper screws. These are about nine millimeters. Plus, print these caps. Uh, the STL file should be available. Uh, just they're very useful, so I use them on every project typically. Um, so you can and don't don't make this too tight. Um, there we go. Again, careful not to make it too tight. 
and this here is sort of the near finished product.